Good morning everybody and welcome to the shovel today. We're on a little adventure. Uh, we're at a place that I found about 30 years ago. Lost in time settlement. Uh, actually a uh, move from a church here in the early 1730s. And uh, man, I studied and studied and came across it and kind of was hunting it ever since. But we found these little areas of old roads and little houses here and there dotted around. and. Uh, so we've been coming here for that amount of time. We only come once or twice a year, and uh, today I uh, figured I'd come in here and check it out. It's been a while, so I uh, want to give you a little show. So what we got right here is basically the old driveway or a dike to cross this little branch. And you can see uh, where the bridge was right here. And it went up on another hill where there was another house up there later, probably about the 1850s. Um, but uh, on this side of it, that whole piece of woods up there is nothing but a township. And you would never know it today. You'd never know it in a million years, but that's what it is. And, uh, you know, I stumbled across it looking for another place and it just blew up. It was crazy. But today we're gonna come out with the big coil. I don't think I've ever brought a big coil in here and see if we can't find a few things before we go home today. Uh, man, this place, I can only imagine what it looked like back in the day. This was pretty much diked off. This little branch, it was like a pond. It came up and uh, I bet it was beautiful. Um, and there's old rice plantations here, but this this one, uh, this particular swamp, I don't believe was set. Down the way a little bit more for sure, but not right here. This is all staple and workers and just a lot of them so let's go see if we can find a few things so I got my first dig check this out first hole a lot of signals but first hole it's some kind of furniture roller it's got a ball on the bottom wheel very cool period for sure wild all right, that's a dang good start, y'all. Let's continue on. Whew, man, I've been walking for miles, it feels like. I got a few things, nothing major. A lot of iron, but uh, I got to show y'all something. Now, I haven't been in here in about 20, mm, 15 years. But you're going to know it when I get here. Check this out. Is this not crazy, y'all? Now, these are some very old folks that were, they're locals here. Uh, they've been around here a long time. They're still here. Some of these graves, uh, these are some of the oldest in the county, actually, um, for up on this end. So, I mean, it's pretty neat if you know the area. There's a lot of history here. And uh, early South Carolina history. It's out there way out there there's some unmarked graves in here too i can see the holes and some different things it's just wild look at the top on this thing look at this it's beautiful look how the weather has kind of got to it but man that is just beautiful anyway Another native varlin. 1776 came to Charleston in 1796, in which place he has left a large circle of friends, acquaintances, and who will ever cherish his memory with respect. Don't see much of that on gravestones today, do you? Anyway, it's crazy. Beautiful, beautiful. The county of Down, Ireland. Came here in 1818 and married in 1822. Now this was no man's land in those days. I don't know how they did it. What a great, great adventure. That's what I can tell you. 
crazy. I was wondering if I could even find it. It's so grown up because it did not used to be this grown up. Now, there's more graves in here. I think one's here too. A couple right here. And another one here. I think there's more in here. You can see the depressions back there towards the back. So I have a, you know, I feel like there is. But anyway, yeah, crazy, huh? Very interesting. Very interesting. Alright, so y'all, I, I followed the ditch up here, and um, I got this one signal right here, I want to see if I can dig it up. I dug the hole, but I know it's there somewhere. Ooh, there it is. Wow. Check this out, y'all. That's a little Danny Colonial thing, isn't it? Goodness gracious. More to come, I bet. That's crazy. I don't know. Knickers buckle? I'm not sure. Cool, though. I'll put it in my, my special little thing. I promise you that. Oh, if I can get it out. All right, so we're gonna go try to find something else, y'all. Come on. Oh, Lord, what do we got here? So. I set my pin pointer down because I am wore out, guys. And I came over and I shouldn't have done that. So. See if we can find it with It's right here. Somewhere. Is that it? That's it. What do you think that is? I think it's a 12 Georgia. <laughs> if not, it'll be an interesting find. Oops. I'm dropping it. And I'm losing it. Oy. I don't know. Might be a flatty. Uh, just pretty cooked. So, But that's cool because I hadn't found a flatty in here yet today. Very cool. I think that's what it is. Clean it up as we go. Whew. So we came up the creek by another little uh, it's a big trash pile over there. And I found that uh, a little buckle by it it's just a big dump it looks like it maybe it was a well at one time people filled it in i don't know but uh anyway let's move around maybe we can find it some more stuff cool though check this out can you see it Here. Whew. I'm way back here. I know one thing. I am freaking. I've been walking a lot, but you know it's worth it to go. The adventure. There's more here. Let's see if we can find something. So I got another hole here, and um, I got this. Looks like just a. I can't tell yet. Maybe a saddle rivet or something. Cool. It's cooked. I got to clean them up. Anyway, we're on it. So I got another dig here. Looks like it's a button. 
Man, look how cooked and dry these things are. I don't know. I hate to push on them too much. You know, out in this kind of condition, I like to get home and clean them. But sometimes you just don't know. Anyway, here we go. That was about six inches. Lots of iron in here. I'm pulling them out, though. Pulling them out. Let's go. Oh, goodness. All right, let's do it. Whew. All right, welcome back. Got something I want to share with you. So, the land was kind of funny. And sometimes it was kind of terraced go down they'd run a while and they'd go down again and if they farmed it right they could terrace it down each time and each little field had drainage or a little house site had drainage and here's another one of the little dumps i call it um, it's hard to tell but it's kind of like in a round circle right here and it goes right on down to the next basically to the same drain that we saw earlier and it's it's part of the system here that's so interesting how they would use and reuse and uh, keep those reservoirs full of water down there, those ponds, or whatever. And do what it had to do on the hills. And this right here, it's just a large settlement of, uh, the, I don't know how many houses are in here. I've been digging here a long time, so it's hard to really tell you that. But uh, really neat to see how it looks today after 300 and something years. Because these are very colonial um, sites i'm on i mean we've got relics easy 1730s on into the 1850s so but uh very interesting story about this area it was actually settled by and uh, they came in and tried to build a church and tried to spread the gospel to the indians and whatever else that was a few irish folks that was living up this way and it seemed to take off pretty good and once it did the church picked up and moved to another part of the state, uh, basically Georgia, right below the line. At that time, there was no Georgia line, and we did it again. Um, but these folks, are, a lot of their ancestors are still here. They're still in this area, and it's just really cool to come in and revisit again, you know, some of these things that you study and look for and finally eventually find them. And it doesn't happen like that all the time. And this is one of the one of the few times that it actually did for me. Um, anyway, it was a lot of work. Took a lot of years to do. And you can't look at it now and have any aspect on it. You just can't do it. But it's there. The owner knows. We've been uh, working with him for a long time. And um, I hope it gets preserved. All right. So let's, uh, let's get back to it. All right, so check this out. So you've heard of folks talking of bear trees or lion trees or a tree that pointed direction because simply they would tie a rope from one end and pull it down. And as it grew, it would point the direction where you need to go. Well, just in case, I don't know if it's a coincidence, but in this situation, there's an old road here and it's probably 300 years old. That oak is not 300, but it's pretty doggone old. And it actually comes right on down through here. And there's a crossing up here I'm going to take y'all to. Uh, very interesting. So, you know, I see things on social media every now and about these trees. And this is one live. And this one is probably 54 inches. I'm a little ways away from it, but you get to just... Anyway, that old road goes right through coincidence i don't know i've read they're out there so that's a good example if it is one huh all right so we come down little road beds over here this day has been full of poison ivy and oak everywhere but as you can see here's the road bed now it starts to come to where it's going to bridge this little swamp right here now, it's, a, it's not only a roadbed, it's also a dike 
to hold the water in that pond that we were talking about earlier. You kind of see it. See it coming through? It's coming right through there. A little elevated hill there. Comes through here. And this is where the little bridge was. Some sort. There was iron all through here. Uh, Duck, Bucky and I dug here years ago and it's just back filled with all kinds of tools and all kinds of stuff. But so interesting how they did things. And you can see the road continues on. This is just a causeway to get across this pond. And all that was probably water, whether it was for looking, I'm sure for using. Not so sure about a rice in that little pocket, but it could be could be but I think mainly they were glad to have something to drink some water in here because uh whew, speaking of water I could do with a drink myself right now I'm close to the truck so not too much more to go but uh yeah very interesting today look at the poison oak poison ivy everywhere I wore gloves all day I probably got it any doggone way but we found a few things, found some nice things, some furniture things, some lead, five, four or five buttons. I did not dig iron. I, I accidentally dug some just to see and make sure that it wasn't brass, but it was iron. It was old too. Some of that stuff was 13, 14 inches. It was pretty deep. I got tired. I'm tired now. But anyway, thanks for coming with me, and uh, we'll see you next week on the shovel. See you later.